So today's agenda is I'll be climbing up to right around 8,000 feet elevation and uh, camp. And then tomorrow I'll be going up to 10,000, a little over 10,000 feet elevation. But man, it's so beautiful. And can you hear the river? We're in the Sierra, folks. It's beautiful. Look at this cactus. The same cactus, in fact, the same paddle, has a yellow flower and a apricot flower on the same paddle. I didn't realize that a cactus has had two colors of flowers. Or it's an odd one. I don't know. Oh my goodness, my pack is driving me crazy. <laughs> I can't lift my head. And if I have if look up, I have to go like this. And it's keeping my head forward because of that bear can that's in there. It pushes everything higher. Next time I pack it, I'm going to try and see what I can get out of the top. It's kind of sad because you come out of that really beautiful forest area. And now here's an old burn area. I'm not sure what year this burned, but there's a lot of stuff coming back. I've had to move around in uh, a few times here following the shade, but uh, it's been a nice rest. Got another, another half hour and then I'll climb back into it feeling a little better. Had some uh, more to eat and drinking more water. I've got plenty of water. That's one nice thing about the trail now is there's water like a lot of places, so it's nice. Got some beautiful cumulus clouds moving in, so that might help shade the afternoon hike. Um, I'm not gonna get as far as I wanted to today, but I'm still gonna get some good, you know, I'll get another four miles in. So I'm not in any hurry because it'll take a few days for Sarah to get to Lone Pine, so I'll get there and get some videos done. Okay, back on the trail for about four hours. Took a nice long rest. Ate more, drank more. Just relaxed and uh, now I'm ready. Back to do four more miles. This pack is so awkward with that dang bear can in it. If I could get it lower, I would. I don't know. We'll see how it works out. But um, gotta have it through the Sierras and uh, this section for sure. Um, the rangers are stopping people, checking for bear cans and permits. So hopefully, even though it's a little bit later, it's still pretty toasty, hoping the clouds come in front of the sun. There's all this massive ground cover that looks like 
poodle dog bush, but I don't know if it is. I've never seen it that little. I've only seen big, but it's basically covering the ground from this massive fire zone, fire area. I'm walking into a cloud shadow, cloud shadow, cloud shadow. Getting the shade from the cloud shadow on the PCT. Yeah, it feels so good. Get ready to leave the burn area and look at this beauty. Looks like I'm going to the top of this one somehow. Can't see where the trail is. Came around the corner and these nice sweet purple flowers are here. They look like snapdragons. There's also a lot of bees hanging out with them. Those big black ones. Oh, he flew away. There he is. So I think I better move on. Canyon is narrowing. Little stream going through. And I imagine there's a saddle up there that that's where I'll be going over. Oh man. I don't know what I did in my hip. My left hip is like really really hurting almost like it feels like if i knew better that the femur the uh, proximal end is is cracked and i don't know how i did that it just started maybe an hour ago so i'm working on getting this last mile into the campground and a couple fellas just passed me the we'll keep an eye out for you i go i'll be there in about an hour but of course, then this section has all these blowdowns and climb overs and the log that you have to walk kind of, and of course, but I think I've got a mile left and then I'll get my tent pitched and get a little bite to eat and, and see how it does and get some rest tonight. I'm gonna sleep good tonight because it's getting nice and cold and I like to sleep in the cold. Yay. Ugh. I'm just trying to figure out if it's because maybe the bear can is off kilter. Seems like it's on the left side of the pack, that side, but I tried to put other things on the right to counterweight it. And then when I stopped for my break, I took stuff out of the top so I can put my head back and I shoved that down and maybe I threw, maybe I threw it off. I'll check it when I unpack it and then uh, see how I feel tomorrow and do a different pack tomorrow. I decided to sleep in this morning and we'll see how my leg is. I haven't tried it out yet. But uh, last night was pretty exciting. <laughs> uh, there, there were several people around in this tent site and uh, everybody kind of went to bed about the same time and all of a sudden there was just this giant crash. Like, I'm going to equate it to maybe a bear climbing a tree and the, the, um, the branches broke and he fell. <laughs> Poor thing. So, uh, 
Anyway, I'm sure he took off. But anyway, the boys in the camp over next here, they took their flashlights and went looking around to see if they could figure it out. And then everybody got all settled down and all of a sudden, ow! <laughs> this band of coyotes like I've never heard before. I mean, usually here and they're all like, rawr, 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 you know, but these guys were really, really singing. And I don't know how many of them there were. There was a bunch of them, but they were just they were singing opera it was it was crazy if the very first one that started i thought it was just somebody playing franken you know but they all of them just got started as they passed through they were just all of them were singing and you could hear in the distance other coyote bands or whatever joining in the in the uh in the circus it was crazy so after that you know you could hear all the laughter coming out of the tents like ah <laughs> But anyway, so now I am going to uh, take it easy. I was looking all the places I think that I'll be camping tonight is going to be around 10,000. So it's going to be chill. It was cold last night. It's going to be cold tonight for sure. But what I'm hoping is that it will be cooler during the day. Yesterday was still very hot um, in that sun. So we'll see. Oh, it's official. I don't know what I'm going to do with my leg. I can't walk. I mean, I can walk. I can't bear any weight on it. It doesn't hurt when I'm sitting or laying or anything, but when I go to bear weight on it, it's just excruciating. So, but I can, I walked around a little bit trying to figure out how to use my pole. And actually, if I put a pole kind of in the center, it takes a lot of the weight off that leg. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix some breakfast and I'm gonna pack up and then I'm gonna get going. I still have 32 miles to the trailhead where I can exit down into Lone Pine. Um, so I'm hoping it's just a muscle or a tendon. Um, but I'll see the doctor when I get to Lone Pine. It's going to take me a few more days to get there, but which is fine. Um, I have no service, so I can't, if I really needed to contact somebody, I could do it through my Garmin, but this is not an emergency yet. <laughs> it was so funny because I was sitting here and a, a couple hikers came by and one fellow, he goes, oh, I remember you. And, uh, he had gone off trail for four weeks. I didn't find out why usually people go off either due to an injury or due to um, you know they're going to visit family or see something else while they're in the United States you know because it's a lot of people from other countries so it was kind of cool that was nice seeing him and uh, so let's get this rigmarole started and see what we can get through it's a little different than my foot my foot I could actually splint it and uh but i don't know what to do with my leg it's uh it started yesterday I started yesterday i don't know if i cracked it or if i pulled a muscle or a tendon but it's in the up up pretty much where the humerus goes into the hip so but it's more on the humerus end not the hip side i think 